Hello my friends, welcome to a new episode of Self Care here. Today we will discuss zero waste. I will tell you how I come to this topic, how I stumble upon zero waste, my zero waste beginner journey. What, uh, what I found surprising, uh, how I started, what are my difficulties, what is going well, what is going not so well, what are zero waste principles and I would give you a trailer for <clears throat> the next episode. So let's get tuned to get a cup of your favorite drink. What, what is zero waste in general? If you never heard about this, it's just approach to life where you try to produce less litter, less garbage. You can really make a difference because, uh, you know, on average a uh, person produces 500 kilograms of litter every year and if you decide to make a different choice you would save this planet 500 kilograms of garbage every every year you did it so you can have actually a huge impact on our planet i, I get into a topic of minimalism of getting rid of stuff of how actually how much stuff you actually need to live a happy life i did an episode on it just just in the new year and the zero waste was my expansion on on this topic I decided to go a little bit deeper and for first I think it's impossible for me to produce uh, less waste I was very used to getting a lot of garbage, you know, I like buying things, I like producing things, I'm a creator, so is zero waste really impossible? Maybe it is, but maybe a little bit less waste than usual is possible. So I decided not to not to think uh, 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 about it too much, I decided just to go ahead and try. And well, that's what I found. The first thing is uh, fruits and vegetables. And uh, as you find out, it's really easy to get those without a lot of uh, packing or with carton packing. Also, the bread. You just go to a, you just can go to the bakery with your own packaging or whatever you find at home and ask for the bread without packaging so they would give it to you. So this was easy. <laughs> I was a little bit confused with our items. I consume a lot of milk products. I like cottage cheese, cheese, milk and uh, at first it sounds impossible to get that. But I found, uh, I, I got to local shop and I found milk uh, in a glass bottle and yogurt in a glass jar, which you can give back once you use it, so they get used, uh, get reused. I'm still a little bit confused about other items. I need to find nuts uh, and cheese and dried fruits in some other ways. So please, if you are more knowledgeable in this topic than I am, or you have tips, please leave, leave, leave uh, comments be below because my lifestyle is not completely yet uh, shifted to zero waste. It's just a little bit less waste, but I'm hopeful. Let's see in what stage of life I would be in three months from now. Could I persist with that? Could I stick with that? Or it would be just impossible and I, I, and I would let go and fall back into my habits. Maybe I would be so ashamed I stop, <laughs> stop doing videos on 
YouTube anymore. The principles of zero waste is uh, refuse, reduce, reuse, uh, recycle and rot. Yes, I remember it by my heart. What, what is interesting about these principles because uh, when I was far from the topic, I thought uh, the ecology, zero waste things are all about recycling, how we can recycle more. But actually, uh, and the first uh, verb is about that, refuse. You can uh, cut everything on the moment you start to want something. You can decide if you I really want this thing or I actually don't want this, this thing. And you can go to the shop and make your choice so you can produce less waste. And you don't have to deal with litter like at all. <laughs> if you have uh, made uh, the right choice in the first uh, thing, which is refuse. And the second thing, reduce. If you have to buy something, if you still need something and you couldn't find anything without uh, packing, which would produce uh, waste, you can, ch you can ch uh, choose the packing, which produces slightly less waste uh, than uh, usual packing. This is a reduce principle. Re reduce principle. I was far from this uh, not long ago, but just yesterday I opened a marketplace on Facebook and started to sell all the items which I accumulated during these years. So somebody else could buy it for lower price Things get a, things get a second life, and I would get a little bit money. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. <laughs> so, I think that was it for today. I hope I would see you on uh, the next episode on the 9th of January, where we discussing the problems of feeling like you're not fitting in in your surroundings, in, in your environment. And um, <sighs> when I was a child, Mulan was my favorite cartoon, which I used to watch over and over again. And I think it uh, influenced my whole life after that. I really could understand uh, how she was not fitting in in her society, not meeting the expectations of people surrounding her. So let's get a deep dive on in on the 9th of January. See you on the next episode.